Hey guys, so I'm just really quickly gonna show you how to do a scroll wipe transition. This one's quite an interesting one. I haven't seen it around too much, but I'm just gonna get started and crack on with it straight away. So we create our composition and we put our clips in. As you guys know by now, we're using graded clips because they will be treated as one video file once the transition is done. So what we wanna do is we wanna offset those clips so they're not playing over each other, and we wanna hit P for position. Now at the start of where you'd like the transition to be, remember to hit the keyframe just so that it stays in place. Then at the end of that transition of the first clip, we wanna create another keyframe where we've moved the position. Now you might need to do a little bit of maths for this. For me, I actually want, the, uh, I want it to scroll five times, which actually means that I need to do it five times the x-axis number. My x-axis number is 960, so I need to offset it by 4,800 because that's 960 times five. And now you can see that actually it's moving across to the left quite a lot, but there's nothing there in to replace it. So to quickly do that, what we wanna do is we wanna select our layer, go layer, stylize, and go down to the CC reptile. Then, because I've moved it to the left, I wanna extend the right by the same amount I moved in position, which is 4,800. So I just set that to 4,800, and now you can actually see I've got this scrolling effect on the first clip. Now, I'm basically gonna do the reverse to clip two. So the first thing to do is to find the end of where you'd like the transition to be and set a keyframe just so that it's, you know, eventually lands in that place. And then you want to find the start of clip two and you basically want to do the same. So you get, you get your position and you offset it by 4,800 again, or in my case, because I wanted to do five scrolls. And then again, I'm going to go into layer, stylize, CC reptile and, off, and drag that out by 4,800 again. And now you can actually see that I've really quickly created this slideshow sort of looking transition. But it doesn't look perfect in my opinion. So I'm just really quickly going to create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to put that adjustment there the exact length of the transition and I'm going to stick a quick Gaussian blur just so that it looks like there's a bit of motion blur on there. So I'll just put some blur on, make it look the right, the right amount, remember to tick repeat edge pixels and I'm actually going to set mine to horizontal because that's the direction that I want the motion blur to look. If you want you can ease in and ease out all the position keyframes uh, but to be honest again I quite like some of my transitions to be quite sudden so I'm not going to bother doing that but you can do if you just want it to be slightly cleaner. And there you go, there's another transition for you. This one is maybe slightly more unique than some of the other videos, so it's a really cool one to chuck in your showreel and stuff like that because I don't think loads of other people are going to be doing it. If you like this video, we have got more After Effects videos coming, so remember to hit like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.